वेलकम आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लेक्चर इन द कोर्स संधि इन पाणिनियन ग्रामर वी आर स्टडिंग अच संधि और वॉवेल संधि एंड करंटली वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन द सेकेंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अच संधि नेमली द्विस्थानिक एकादेश द्विस्थानिक एक आदेश टू सब्सटीट्यूएंट्स एंड वन सब्सटीट्यूट वी आर एम्फोसाइजिंग ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर आस्पेक्ट अगेन एंड अगेन इन दीज लेक्चर्स mainly because this is a very fundamental part of sandhi and this particular aspect is reflected in several other types of operations as well notably the accent operations so when you have two vowels as substituents obviously they have one accent each so there are two accents as substituents and there is only one substitute and so there are rules stating this one accent we will see this aspect later on in the course it is important therefore to get this part extremely clear in our own minds dvisthanik ekadesha and that is why we are spending some time at the beginning of each and every lecture on highlighting and emphasizing on this particular classification of the vowel sandhi the first classification we said was ekasthanik ekadesh where you have one substituent and one substitute ek sthani and ek adesh we saw that there are two instances of this ekasthanik ekadesh namely yan sandhi and ayavayav sandhi yan sandhi is stated by the sutra इको यणची एंड अयवायाव संधि इज स्टेटेड बाय द सूत्र एचो यवायाव वी हैव स्टडीड दीज इंस्टन्सेस अलॉंग विद द एग्जाम्पल्स एट्सेट्रा इन डिटेल अर्लियर इन दिस कोर्स करंटली वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन दिस द्विस्थानिक एकादेश विच इज द सेकेंड क्लासिफिकेशन दिस इज स्टेटेड बाय द अधिकार सूत्र एक पूर्व प्रयो विच मीन्स वन सब्सटीट्यूट टेक्स प्लेस इन प्लेस ऑफ टू साउंड प्रीवियस दैट इज पूर्व एंड लैटर दैट इज पर एक पूर्व प्रयो सिक्स वन एटी फोर दिस इज एन अधिकार सूत्र दिस द्विस्थानिक एकादेश कैन बी शोन डायग्रमैटिकली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मैनर so you have a plus b in close proximity in the samhita mode and so one of the sutras in this section that begins with 6184 and goes up to 61112 one of the sutras applies and then in place of both of them c substitute is stated a comes immediately before b and b comes immediately after a this is how the samhita and the environment gets expressed in this particular section so a plus b is the input and the rule applies and the output is generated in the form of one substitute c there are five instances of dvisthanik ekadesh guna sandhi stated by the sutra ad gunah 
सेकेंड इज वृद्धि संधि स्टेटेड बाय द सूत्र वृद्धि रेची सिक्स वन एटी एट द थर्ड वन इज परूप संधि विच वी आर करंटली स्टडिंग स्टेटेड बाय द सूत्र एंगी परूपम सिक्स वन नाइंटी फोर द फोर्थ वन इज सवर्ण दीर्घ संधि स्टेटेड बाय द सूत्र अकस सवर्ण दीर्घ सिक्स वन वन जीरो वन and finally purva rupa sandhi stated by the sutra ami purva onwards that is 61107 onwards amongst these five currently we are focused on the third pararupa sandhi and this pararupa sandhi is stated primarily by the sutra engi pararupam 6194 and we have studied this sutra in detail what this sutra means is immediately before a verbal root that begins with aing and immediately after the preverb that ends in short or long a uh, in place of both one substitute in the form of latter that is para rupa takes place so you have pra plus ajate where a uh appears at the end of this preverb and a appears at the beginning of this verbal root aj and so they are in close proximity a plus a is the situation and in this limited environment which is by default the environment for vruddhirechi to apply but that gets cancelled and 6194 applies because of these limited environments and you have pr a and jate prejate as the generated output in this lecture we shall study some more sutras stating the pararupa sandhi and these sutras are stated on this particular slide omangoscha 6195 usya padantat 6196 atogune 6197 avyaktanukarana syat itau 6198 namreditha syantyasya tuva 6199 and nityam amredite dachi 61100 let us study these sutras one by one first let us take omangoscha 6195 for our consideration omangoscha has got two words omangoho and cha omangoho is 7/2 slash two of omang omang has got two constituents om and ang ang is a preverb and upasarga so omangoho means immediately before omang cha means and words continued are ad 5/1 slash one of a short or long and so ath means immediately after a short or long pararupam 1/1 of pararupa that is latter form so the sutra means and immediately before om and ang immediately after a short or long in place of both a and o and a is substituted the latter form in this case o as well as a here are the examples shivaya om namaha this is a sentence in this sentence you have a coming at the end of this pada followed by om over here and so in place of both of them now this om will be substituted as one substitute so the output generated by 6195 would be shivai o m and namaha when we join it together we get shivayom namaha then also we have shiva plus a plus e and now a plus e in the samhita mode 6 187 will apply and the output generated would be shiva a and he now this a over here and this a 
they will become the input for 6195 to apply and then the output generated would be Shiv A and He when we join them together it becomes Shiv A He. This A is considered as R because A has substituted R and a special rule to this effect is created namely Antadivacha. What it means is that this one substitute stated by 6184 acts as final of the previous element and also initial of the latter element. So this uh, A comes in place of R as well as E. So this A can be considered as E or A can be considered as R. Considering A as R, now we have Shiva plus Ahi and this A is R. So now Omangoscha applies and there is Pararupa Sandhi. So we get the form Shivehi. Let us go to the next Sutra Usya Padantat. This is 6196. This has got two words Usi and Apadantat. Usi is 7 slash 1 of Us. Us is a verbal suffix. Usi means immediately before Us. Apadantat is 5 slash 1 of Apadanta. Apadanta means not at the end of a pada. So Apadantat means immediately after a sound that does not occur at the end of a pada. Words continued are Ad 5 slash 1 of A short or long and this means immediately after a short or long. And of course Pararupam 1 slash 1 of Pararupa latter form. So now this sutra means immediately before the suffix us and immediately after a short or long that does not appear at the end of a pada in place of both substitute the latter form that is u. I repeat immediately before the suffix us immediately before the suffix us and immediately after a short or long that does not appear at the end of a pada in place of both substitute the latter form that is u. So now here is the derivation process. So we are deriving the form aduhu which means we are deriving the form aduhu which means they gave they gave this is derived in this particular fashion we have the verbal root da to which is added lung then we add a to it a da lung then we add the suffix chili in the next step. Then we delete this chili by the sutra 2477, ada, zero and lung. Then this lung gets replaced by g, ada zero z g, and then we replace this g by us, and now we have ada zero and us. Now here we notice that this a which is the long variety of a uh, is not appearing at the end of a pada. It is very much inside within a pada followed by the suffix us. And so now this has scope of application for 6196. And so now in place of this a uh, and this u uh, pararupa sandhi takes place and u uh, as one substitute replaces both of them a and u. So we have a, d, u, s. 
when we join them together we get adus or aduhu meaning they gave. In this case this a and this u this is the environment a is not appearing at the end of a pada and so both of them get substituted by this latter form u over here. This is what is usya padantat. Let us proceed further and study the next sutra. This is ato gune. Ato gune has got two words. Ataha, phi slash one of at, meaning immediately after short a. Uh, remember, this is at. At stands for short a. Uh. And gune is seven slash one of guna, meaning immediately before guna. And guna is a, a, and o, defined by one, one, two, aden gunaha. The words continued are apadantat, phi slash one of apadanta, meaning not at the end of a pada. So apadantat means immediately after a sound that does not occur at the end of a pada. Pararupam is one slash one of pararupa, that is latter form. All this put together, this sutra means immediately before guna, that is a, a, o, and immediately after short a, that appears not at the end of a pada. In place of both is substituted the latter, that is guna, a, a, and o. I repeat, immediately before guna, gune, that is a, a, and o, and immediately after short a, at, that appears not at the end of a pad, apadantat. In place of both, ekap purva parayoho is substituted the latter, pararupa. In this case, it is the guna. So, we have two examples. One is pathanti, they read, and the second one is labhe, that is, I obtain. Pathanti is derived after the verbal root patha and the suffix lat being added to it. So patha plus lat. Then this lat gets substituted by ji and then this ji gets substituted by anti and at this stage patha plus anti we have the suffix a that comes in between. So patha plus a plus anti. Now here a is within a pada followed by another a. So this a can be called guna. So we have the environment where a not occurring at the end of a pada is immediately followed by a guna sound. And so in case in place of both of these sounds we have pararupa that is this a being the substitute. So then the next step is derived but a and t when we join them together we get the form pathanti which means they read. So here we have a plus a and both these especially this one latter one can be termed as guna to satisfy the condition for ato guna to apply and pararupa sandhi takes place. Similarly if we look at the derivation of labhe we have labha followed by the suffix lat vartamane then this lat gets substituted by e then this e gets substituted by a then we have the vigarana pratyaya a coming in between now we have a which is not at the end of a pada which is in between a pada followed immediately by a. All this is in the samhita mode. Now in this case a plus a the by default rules would apply and the vriddhi would be the substitute. But that does not happen over here because of this particular sutra which says that when a occurs not at the end of a pada 
and if a guna sound appears immediately after it, then in place of both of them place the latter that is the per rupa that is this a in this particular case. So then the next step would be labha plus a. This a is the substitute in place of this a as well as this a. So we have labha plus a labhe which means I obtain. This is atogune. Let us go ahead and look at this next sutra avyaktanukarana syata itau. 6198 and there are three words in the sutra. The first one is avyaktanukaranasya. Six one of avyaktanukarana. Avyakta anukarana means avyakta means unexpressed speech. Anukarana is imitation. So, Avyaktanukarana means part of imitation word of unexpressed speech. This is the meaning of Avyaktanukaranasya, part of imitation word of unexpressed speech. What is an unexpressed speech? So, the sounds that happen in the nature, they gets get imitated by human beings. Such a sound is called avyaktanukarana. So part of it is getting operation, it ge is getting operated by this sutra. Ataha is 6 slash 1 which means in place of at and at here is not short a at refers to its own form that is at. Itau is 7 slash 1 of iti which means immediately before iti. Pararupam is continued from the previous sutras latter form and the meaning of the sutra is immediately before iti when at appears as part of an unexpressed imitation then in place of both of them, latter form in this case E takes place as the one substitute. And I repeat, immediately before iti, when at appears as part of an unexpressed imitation, then in place of both of them, latter form that is E takes place as the one substitute. Here are the examples. We have the word patat. Patat is an imitation. This kind of sound naturally occurs in the nature and so in order to imitate it we say patat. Now patat is avyakta anukarana. And now when we quote it, patat iti. So we have at over here followed by e and now by the application of 6198 this at and this e get the pararupa sandhi. That means this e remains and in place of this and this. So the output generated is pat at is gone and e and t. Joining them together we get patiti. Similarly ghatat iti and this at and e they both have the sandhi effect ghat e and t and the resultant form would be ghatiti. So the substituents are at and e and in place of both of them we have e as the substitute. Now there is a vartika on this particular sutra which says that anekacha iti vaktavyam. It says that this substitute takes place only if the unexpressed imitation word contains more than one bobble like patat and ghatat. When it contains only one bobble like shrat 
So we have Sharat plus Iti. Here this operation does not take place. This At and this E is not replaced by this E. It remains as it is and that is Sharaditi. There is no change brought about at all. This context of Avyaktanukarana continues in the next two sutras. The first one being Namredita Syantya Syatuva. Now let us look at the next sutra. Namredita Syantya Syatuva. This sutra consists of two sentences. The first one being Na Amriditasya and the second one is Antyasya to Va. Let us look at them one by one. So the first word is Na is which is negation which means not. Amriditasya is 6 slash 1 of Amridita meaning part of Amridita. Antyasya is 6 slash 1 of Antya which means in place of final sound. Tu means but, Va means optionally. Amridita is the second part of the doubled element stated by 812 Tasya Param Amriditam. Words continued are Pararupam 1 slash 1 of Pararupa, Avyaktanukaranasya from the previous sutra which means part of imitation word of unexpressed speech, Ataha 6 slash 1 in place of at and itau 7 slash 1 of iti immediately before iti. So the meaning of the sutra stated in the two, sutra, two sentences is this. One substitute in the form of the latter form does not take place in place of e in iti and at which is part of the unexpressed imitation when it is reduplicated. And the second sentence is, but the substitute in the form of the latter form does take place in place of the final t and e in iti, that too optionally. So not this entire at is replaced, but only this t is replaced. So we have this patat and patat when it is uttered twice, the second part, patat, this is called amredita and this is what is getting operationalized. So patat is one imitation of the unexpressed sound in the nature when it is reduplicated because of 814 nitya vipsa yoho, we have patat patat followed by iti. Now in this case, this at and this e, this does not get e as the substitute, but because of this sutra, only this final d and this e, they get the substitute pararupa, which is e in this case. So we have patat remaining as it is, this d and e is replaced by e, so we get patat pataditi. This is one output generated where there is no sandhi effect taking place because this is an optional application. So patat pataditi is one form and the second optional form is patat pata, this is pata and then this the and e get substituted by e. So we have patat pata e and t and finally patat pate t by the application of the Guna Sutra, we get the output Patat Pateti. Let us look at the next Sutra, Nityam Amredite Dachi. This is 61100. There are three words in the Sutra, Nityam, one one of Nitya, which means always or without optionality. Amredite is 7 slash 1 of Amredite, which means immediately before the second part of the reduplicated unexpressed imitation. Dachi is 7 slash 1 of Dach, a suffix stated by 5457. Words continued are Pararupam 
वन स्लैश वन ऑफ पररूप अव्यक्तानुकरण से सिक्स स्लैश वन ऑफ अव्यक्तानुकरण मीनिंग पार्ट ऑफ इमिटेशन वर्ड ऑफ अनएक्सप्रेस्ड स्पीच अतः इस सिक्स स्लैश वन ऑफ अत मीनिंग इन प्लेस ऑफ अत अंत्य इस सिक्स स्लैश वन ऑफ अंत्य दैट इज इन प्लेस ऑफ फाइनल साउंड to put this together we get the meaning namely immediately before the amridita which comes before the suffix dat final ta inat and the initial of the amridita they both always without optionality get substituted by the latter form that is the initial of the amridita when it is part of an unexpressed imitation i repeat immediately before the amridita which comes before the suffix dat that means dat suffix is added after the amridita final t in at and the initial of this amridita they both always without optionality get substituted by the latter form that is the initial sound of the amridita when it is part of an unexpressed imitation so patak patak we know is unexpressed imitation and after this is the suffix dat that is attached to it in fact when this dat suffix is added to patak then patak get re gets reduplicated because of this statement dachi bahulam dve bhavatah and so we get patat patat plus dach in this case this is the amridita and this is the sound p at the beginning of this amridita and here we have the at the end of this first part which comes immediately before the amridita now this amridita is coming immediately before this suffix dach so the conditions for 61100 to apply are fulfilled and so now the first step is because of this d this ad gets deleted patad pat a afterwards this d and this p they get the pararupa sandhi and so in place of both d and p only p remains as the substitute and so we have pata and pata pata and pata and this is what is the output that is generated pata pata this reduplication has happened because of the statement dachi bahulam dve bhavatah to summarize we have studied pararupa sandhi and we noticed that pararupa sandhi applies in a very restricted environment so pararupa sandhi cancels applications of other by default rules like 6187 and 88 some of the rules apply only word internally like 6196 and 97 whereas the other rules only apply between two words 6195 and 98 now we study the next instance of dvisthanika ekadesha namely the savarna dirgha sandhi stated by the sutra akas savarne dirgha 61101 but this we will do in the next lecture thank you for your patience